One of the funnest projects to do with your sacred symbol portals is to decorate your jeans with sacred symbols. So I've got a pair of denim here and I am going to layer and layer the sacred symbols onto the denim with a stencil brush and the portals. Well, so the sacred symbols are energetically creating your environment, your uh, reality that you're moving in. They are like vitamin boosters for your, your attitude that day, your feeling, your emotion, how you are connecting. And so the sacred symbols on your clothing is simply further amplifying the energy that you want around you that day, right? So for example, the lotus flower is reminding us that our struggles or uh, obstacles or things that are happening that maybe we wouldn't have chosen to happen are actually the muck that is nurturing us and strengthening us so that we can bloom, whatever that means for you these symbols on your clothing is, is like putting on armor. It's like energetic armor, right? To go out into the day creating, deliberately creating the energy that you want to bring with you rather than allowing anyone else to create it. These symbols, because they're sacred symbols, because they've been around for so long, energetically have generations and generations and cultures and cultures of energy in them. So they're that much more powerful than like whatever a common corporate logo might be today, right? So, so this is really another way of, of acknowledging and validating your own creative ability and taking it into a, your very personal environment that is your clothing. I am using the same paint that you would use on your artist canvas. This is the same paint I paint with. And so we know acrylic paint doesn't come off once it's dry. It can fade in the wash some, so you can keep that in mind. Uh, you know, some of it can come off, but this is just the same kind of acrylic artist paint that I would paint on a canvas that I have just been painting with. So I'm, on this pair, I'm just choosing to kind of layer uh, the different designs and the different sizes. And at first, I'm sure I'm gonna look at these and think I've just created chaos, but I believe if I keep layering more and more stencils that they're going to end up really amazing. And you can layer the colors as well. I'm putting down the acrylic paint here, these colors, and then I have some gold metallic that I can use with a different brush and go back over to kind of add highlights. So I'm going to lay this right back over stencil that I did before. I'm not going to worry about it whether it's exact or not. It doesn't matter. These, these stencils will be moving on your jeans, right? So you don't have to worry about it if it doesn't. Okay, so all the symbols in this line are nothing but positive energy. They, their only intention is to serve your highest and greatest good. So on the sacred symbol portals, you'll see lots of information and on the website about what each of the symbols means. And so you can simply choose the energy that you want to create more of. I'm using all of them here. Figure, can't go wrong. You really can't go wrong, there are no mistakes. This one I'm doing right here is the symbol for strength of heart. So this is going to validate my heart wisdom just as much as my mental wisdom.
And what you want to do with your genes is understand that um, the process is going to be paint them, put them on, <laughs> take them off, put some more stencils on, right? You don't have to worry about getting it right all from the beginning. Thank goodness. Okay, so they're done, and what was so fun about these particular pants, they're going to be different every time, is that I was doing all the different symbols, and then what really spoke to me was the big pink lotus. And so I ended up repeating the big pink lotus throughout the jeans, and I think that's a really fun way to start. Start using whatever sacred symbols are speaking to you, Paint them first with colors that are going to be more harmonious with your denim or whatever you're stenciling on. And then let the symbol that is speaking to you and the color that is speaking to you bubble up and then repeat that. So these are going to dry. I will probably wait as long as possible to wash them. And then know that in the wash, the paint will fade just a little bit or where I did layers of color some of those layers will fade like a distressed and so they will tone down a little bit so keep that in mind you can always go back right it's a never-ending process so much fun I can't wait to see your jeans send them to me